Hello guys, this is Ali Salanki and today we'll be doing an entire tutorial on stock market. Now this would be the first video in the series so there are more to come but make sure to let me know in the comment section below what are your doubts that I can solve through these videos. I started out my investment journey back when I was 18. Just when I turned 18, I opened my own bank account but I wanted to do it way before that and there were some reasons because of which I couldn't. I'll be talking about them in the video so make Make sure to stick with me till the end of this video like this video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more such updates the entire series would be amazing so make sure to watch this video today we'll be specifically talking about what stock market is what are the different brokers how do you open your own stock market account or your dmat account what are the things required for it what are the documents required for it and we'll also be executing some trades so that you can see how you can buy and sell stocks and then in the further videos we'll also be talking about mutual funds we'll be talking about how to read candlestick charts we'll be talking about trading and all of these things as well so make sure to stick with me all right so to begin with india has two really big stock market exchanges currently one is nse which is the national stock exchange and the second one is bse bse is bombay stock exchange and it is the oldest stock exchange in asia currently both of these stock exchanges have a ton of stocks that you can invest in so we'll be talking about them as well now i don't want to get into the basics of stock market i am guessing that you already know about it so let's just start with opening up your own dmat account so that you can start trading so yeah let's talk about how you can do that and all the documents that might be required for it as well so now there are two types of brokers one is discount brokers you might have seen zero the uh, grow and all of these different applications right so all of them are discount brokers they have their own online platforms and usually the brokerage charges on top of them is also quite less because they don't have to spend a lot on having their own office space they don't have to do a lot of offline work they do everything online the other type of brokers are the full service brokers which are basically like your bank you can start trading using your bank account directly and they might be providing services which would help you in setting up your own dmat account as well now that is quite secure but brokerage charges are also quite high in this video we'll be setting up our account using grow so grow is one of the leading discount brokers in india and uh, the brokerage charges over there is also quite less i personally use grow for all of my trades and all the stock market buying and selling and everything so yeah i'll be showing you my account as well so let's get right into it so now let's talk about the documents that might be required the first is your address proof so address proof can be in the form of your Aadhaar card your voter id or even your driving license right so these are the documents that are allowed as address proof the second document that is required is your pan card you need to have your own pan card in order to create your dmat account the third thing that would be required is your own bank account right so if you want to buy or sell any of your stocks you need to transfer some money in order to do that right so your primary bank account is also needed for that once you have all of these things in place you can then go ahead and sign up with grow or any other discount broker okay so this is how your uh, grow account would look like this is the dashboard for it and uh, over here you can explore all the stocks that uh, you want to buy or you want to learn more about them as well so right now i can see some uh, on my dashboard but uh, we'll talk about how i pick my stocks as well so but before that let's just pick a random stock and look at all the things all the data that we can actually take a look at right so here i can even search for any stocks that i want i'll search for uh, say tata motors right so over here i have tata motors and i'm not giving any kind of financial advice this is a random stock that i'm just picking uh, in order to analyze all the data that is available to us so uh, over here you can see the overview news events and fno fno basically stands for futures and options right now we won't talk about that but uh, in the future videos we might also explore this section as well but right now just stick to the overview so here you can see all the things you can see today's low today's high that means uh, the price movement of this particular stock 52 week low so in the past 52 weeks uh, what's the lowest 
uh, price that the stock was at and the highest price right so those are some of the things uh, we have lower circuit upper circuit so as soon as the uh, stock hits the lower circuit the trading stops or even if it hits the upper circuit the trading stop right so these are some of the things apart from that we have the market cap so market cap basically is the entire company's net worth right so you can call it net worth as well uh, the next thing we have is pe ratio pb ratio and all of these ratios we'll make a separate video just for this purpose wherein we'll talk about all the ratios all the indicators and everything so right now we'll just go through all of these things uh pe ratio roe uh, we have revenue so over here you can see a graph in revenue uh, wherein you can see the quarterly revenue the yearly revenue even the profit and net worth right so all of these things available on the app directly now this does not mean that it is only available on grow app there are other discount brokers also which provide the same service so there's there's zero da there's i think uh, upstocks which provides these things as well so go check them out if you don't find any then you can just search it up over on google and you'd be able to find all these details right over there as well now apart from that you can see this particular chart right so this is called line chart apart from that you can even switch it over to the candlestick chart now this over here is called the candlestick chart we'll be talking about how to read candlestick charts as well in the future videos but right now i just wanted to show you uh, all the different options that you can explore in this particular app now the next thing that we need to do is actually buy a stock right so how do you buy and sell these stocks this is quite easy actually so you just need to press on buy this is quite easy over here actually but i'll be explaining certain terms and uh, certain buy orders that you can place right there are different types of buy orders that you can place over here you can see the buy option and here we have nse or bse options that you can select the next thing that you can select is price limit and market so what do these things stand for uh, the market is basically whatever the price is there in the market right now it is is at this particular price the market price is basically whatever price you see over here and uh, that is where the order will be filled at and limit price is basically the price you set so whenever the stock hits this particular price only then the buy order will be executed right so these are some of the small things that i wanted to talk about the next thing is delivery and intraday so uh, these are the two options that you get intraday basically stands for doing trades only in one particular day so the stock market it starts at around 9 am and it closes at around 3 pm right so you can only execute these orders within that time frame you cannot execute it the day after or any time after that so intraday stands for trades executed in one particular day and delivery stands for say for example i want to buy a stock for tata motors this would stay with me in my uh, dmat account till the point i decide to sell it so it can be even one month one year or whatever it is right so it will just stay in my dmat account and it won't go anywhere however in intraday you need to make sure that you are selling off or closing all of your positions before the day closes because if you don't do that say for example i buy tata motors stocks uh, today and i forget to sell it before 3 pm what would happen is it would auto square off and there are some additional charges for auto squaring off uh closing all of your positions automatically so that's why to avoid that make sure uh by the end of the day you're closing all of your intraday positions okay so now i'll just press on buy and we'll buy one stock for tata motors once you've successfully purchased your stock you will see it in the holding section right so all of your stocks that you're holding would be available over here and uh, there are some positions as well so positions are basically all the positions that you've uh, made in this one particular day apart from that we have orders so if your order hasn't been filled yet it would come in the order section and then there is watch list and other things as well so these are some of the things that i wanted to talk about now of course you need to close your position so in order to close it you need to sell the stock that you've bought so if you've bought it in intraday then you have to sell it before 3 pm and if you've bought it for delivery you can keep it for however long you want it for now in the next video we'll be talking about mutual funds so stay tuned for that and see you in the next video Bye bye